Lake. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your Bell County neighborhood reporter. I'll explain how our recent rainfalls could give us more things to do on the water as we head into the summer. I'm sitting here at the Temple Public Library where our neighbors are rediscovering the joys of childhood, picking up a good book. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your Temple neighborhood reporter. I'm here live at Texas Roadhouse in Temple. Doing just that, waiting patiently for the city to finish up so that streets like this can reopen. Since the beginning of the year, the city has had 326 adoptions and 142 reclaims. Here's a better look at how many animals still need homes in Bell County. New Sampson Howard Elementary School, the first school built by Temple ISD within 30 years. Here's what it means to the community. 1986, the owners and the managers just wants the community to wait patiently. Seven, and it will include more loop trails, a family pavilion, and a possible. A few months ago, I was standing here in your neighborhood letting you know about the Bird Creek sewer. And now I'm back as more heavy rainfall has fallen, causing more problems for our neighbors in this area. Live at 2800 Riverside Trail. Now, Neighbors in this area tells me every time it rains, this creek seems to flood and I'll actually step out of the way so that our photographer can pan to you and show you that there are still tire marks here from vehicles being pulled out and you can see that there are tires actually left behind. Neighbors I'll talk to in this area says it is very dangerous when it rains and even more dangerous at night. thing I want to point out about Bill, he did not want to be recognized as a business owner. He doesn't normally get this high. Neighbors in this area tells me after the rain today, it rose a little bit and when I first got to town, down Town and the city park was completely flooded with your Bell County neighborhood reporter here at the Colleen Police Department where one lady claims she has been turned away from help from and police say you should always make sure your doors are locked before leaving your vehicle. They offer free steering wheel locks for cars that are big. Now I'm going to take you inside to show you just how hard these volunteers are working to serve our neighbors to help you prepare for that picture perfect moment. Are going, be a good neighbor, help a good neighbor, go to kxxv.com. I noticed these beautiful rocks. And if you pick one up, the screen here shows how you can sign your loved ones up for the Take Me Home program. I'll show you a new place for animals here in Colleen. Grab your boots and cowboy hat. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your built to neighborhood. I drive these roads every day and see a lot. Of I'm here at Nolan Middle School, just one of several schools with new leaders this fall. It allows for more retail and a new Temple Library branch. Construction is set to begin. And preparing for the Temple Air Fest, here's what you can expect this weekend. Tells me they review processes every year whenever they receive an audit. You can use this QR code here to make an appointment when the office is closed. The locations that you do see right here on your screen to provide the community has come together to pay homage to a Navy lieutenant. Eyes on our local lakes. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your neighborhood reporter here in Belson. And then pull off. Did you and applications for this year's cohort will they got a chance to walk across the stage. It was an honor to even participate in surroundings and storms to write rap lyrics, hoping to clear her mind. Building is not up to code, leaving residents wondering where can they go for the past few weeks, telling you about the Bird Creek erosion and the large like watching the old become new again, locally owned and spreading their wings. Now I want you to take a look at this parking lot. It is packed and full and you can see people waiting outside the restaurant to get in, but that is a good thing. Here's how you can capture the perfect picture. And now this room is filled with volunteers and our neighbors just putting things in their buggies. Tell us how this process works. Why? As you can see, the yellow tape is now up to keep the community off the property. The best thing for you to do when you see flooded waters is to turn around. Do not attempt to drive through them. It's a big deal for people around here. It is a very big deal. So this is actually the 50th anniversary that they will be celebrating the Corn Festival in down Monday through Friday. You can also submit a purchase online. I'm on 45 acres of Temple's Industrial Company off of Morris Mills Road. One big sister just wants her little brother's dog to come home. Now the experience level between officers do vary tonight. Some have restaurant experience while others are rookies. Reporting in Temple, I'm Epiphany Lachey. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your Colleen neighborhood reporter. I'm bringing you the story of a local wife speaking up for her nonverbal husband while trying to find the health care he needs to survive. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to take care of my husband because my husband always took care of me. This is Carl Haney before July 6th. Today his life permanently changes. On that day, like any other, Carl went to bed after eating dinner. The next day, his wife Marvette found him unresponsive. Carl was rushed to the hospital. And when I got there, they told me that um, he had a massive stroke and he was in a coma 
and they needed to do an emergency surgery on him to save his life. They the surgery saved Carl, but the stroke left him paralyzed and nonverbal. He was later sent to Austin Neuro Rehab Facility. See you, Timmy. <laughs> the physical therapy, the occupational therapy, and the speech was excellent, but the patient care was horrific. Mm. These pictures provided by Marvette give a snapshot of how she says her husband was treated at the facility, including a heating pad burn on his hand, urine placed near his food, and lack of cleanliness of Carl and his surroundings. Many times I complained. I talked to the director of nursing. I talked to the head nurse. I wrote a book right here trying to understand. They begin a laundry list of correspondence between Marvette and the facility. You see? From there, Marvette tells me the pain and the problems continue to mount. One time, she says she arrived at the facility to check on him, only to find him outside in 18 degree weather. I talked to a nurse at the facility who helped care for Carl. The nurse who asked to remain anonymous backed up most of the wife's claims and says the staff should have monitored more closely. The whole time I was there, I had one meeting with his care team. Only one. And I requested that meeting. I reached out to the Austin Neuro facility with specific questions about Haney's claims and overall patient treatment at the center. We received this general statement saying, quote, patient care and safety are our top priorities. Any complaint or allegation reported to a member of our staff is taken seriously and investigated thoroughly and promptly. But for Marvette and Carl, those words aren't enough. That these people sent my husband home and never looked back. And we did make another attempt on Friday to get more specific answers from the Austin facility. So far, we have no response. Reporting in Colleen, I'm Epiphany Lachey. I'm Epiphany Lachey, your Temple neighborhood reporter. I'm outside of the Temple location of Veterans Affairs, where a local woman says she used to work until she left her job, making claims of harassment and sexual assault. I love my job. I love being there, helping other veterans. I love talking to other veterans. Taiwanda Johnson is an Army vet and former worker at the Temple VA. She tells me she experienced a hostile environment, including having to deal with physical harassment on the job. Um, I was working second shift then, and um, I was going to help one of my fellow co-workers, and another co-worker came in his civilian clothes and um, put his hands on me. So I had to defend myself. Tawanda tells me she and other witnesses reported it to the employee union. And um, I was told to keep my mouth closed because I was in my probationary period. A few months later, Tawanda says she was walking into a building when she says a co-worker made a comment about her clothing. Um, I had on jeans and he said that, oh, I see you uh, got on jeans again today. And I said, um, Stop looking at me. I done told you about making a comment, you know? And he said I can look where I want to look. And he proceeds to walk in front of me, looking at me up and down, walk behind, looking at me. She tells me she filed constant complaints resulting to limit contact between the two. But they had another intercounter when she passed a co-worker in the stairway. You know? So instead of him walking the other way, he continues to walk behind me. She shared documents she believes back up her claims. Tawanda tells me her overall well-being started declining due to stress and depression, forcing her to resign in April of this year. She also showed me old paychecks that she says show she wasn't paid in full. The act of reprisal has my environment to pay 64 hours and the amount is $64. I took a stand they tried to intimidate me with his antics. I did report of contacts. Emails, nothing happened. He still has his job. Temple VA gave me this statement saying it has zero tolerance for harassment or abuse of any kind. The agency says disciplinary action was taken against her former co-worker and it commends their behavior. But due to federal privacy laws, no further information can be provided. Yeah, I went through these things. But how many other women went through this? How many other women going through this? I know several. If you have been put in this position, I want to hear from you. All you have to do is reach out to me via email or social media. Just scan the QR code that you see on your screen. Reporting in Temple, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Epiphany Lachey.